doesn't call the qualified. Amen? Yeah. God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies all those he calls. Amen. See, with the help of the Holy Spirit, you can do anything. With the help of the Holy Spirit, I can do anything. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is the X factor. The Holy Spirit is the difference of it all. Again, I, I, I go back to my favorite movie, Ultron. And, 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 the, and the final fight scene, the final fight scene, we all gather there. And he says, Ultron says, this is what I wanted. The best of you against all of me. I love that. The best of you against all of me. The, the, the Holy Spirit is an X factor in everything that we do. You see, and here it is. The Holy Spirit is the difference. The Holy Spirit is the difference between the best you can do and the best God can do. The Holy Spirit is the difference between the best you can do and the best God can do. I can't do anything without the Holy Spirit. But through the Holy Spirit, I can do everything. And let me let you know no secret here, friend. God wants to do things in you, and God wants to do things through you that are beyond our natural ability, that are beyond our resources, that are beyond our imagination even. You know what he says in Ephesians 3.20? He's able to do more than we can even imagine. God wants to do things in you and through you that are beyond what we're capable of doing. Then he gets glory. He said, well, well how is God going to get glory? Well, fly the kite. He's going to get glory by his spirit. You fly the kite, the spirit's going to come along and lift it up. And God's going to get glory by that. Remember the Holy Spirit, as Jesus said, you know, when he was talking to Nicodemus, the wind blows where it goes and nobody knows what it is, where it is. He's referencing the Holy Spirit. You never know how high the Holy Spirit will come to take that kite. But you got to fly. you got to get it out there. And then let the spirit lift. Because the spirit is the difference between the best I can do and the best that God can do. He goes on a little further and he says, he says, what are you, O oh mighty mountain? In other words, they're, they're, they're standing there looking at this, this, this wasteland, you know, and, and, and you know, when you start looking at things that don't look good, it can be depressing, can it? Can it? Yeah. You start looking at the fact that you got to clean up something. It's a big mess. And really, and if you didn't make the mess, you start really getting, well, first of all, you get ticked off. But anyway, but you start getting a little depressed, right? Huh. That's what's going on. They're, they're, they're standing there and, and they realize, you know, the land is in ruins. Sure, they rebuilt the wall, but the city still is in ruins. And sometimes that can be overwhelming. So he, when he says, what are you, mighty mountain? He's trying to give them a pep talk to say, you know what? Even though it looks like a mess, even though it looks like it's insurmountable, even though it looks like, you know, you can't conquer it, this is a time when you need to stop talking to God about how big your mountain is and start telling your mountain how big your God is. Amen. It doesn't matter how big or how insurmountable the problem might be. We serve a God that nothing is too hard for Him. Amen. Remember, when, when, it, when it looks so bad, you've got to flip the script. Flip the script. Stop telling yourself you're defeated already. Stop telling yourself you can't get beyond it. You've got to flip the script and say, I serve a God that is greater than anything I come upon. Amen. Jesus, what are you on mighty mountain? Start saying how big that mountain is. Start telling that mountain how big God is. Tell that mountain it's already defeated. Why? Because you, de you can declare the power of God. And you flip the script. You can declare the power of God. It is by His grace, by His mercy, by His love, by His goodness, by His power, we will overcome these things. Amen. Now, I'm not saying you deny the obstacle that's there. I'm not saying you just, you know, say, oh, this isn't here. No. What I'm saying is you begin to flip the script and tell yourself, by the grace and power of God, we will get beyond this. I'm going to 
to step out on faith. You fly the kite, friend. You pray. You fast. You pray some more. You begin to chop it down. Chop it down into bite-sized chunks, like I said last week. Chop it down into bite-sized chunks. Develop those daily habits, and you will overcome. When you do the little things, God will show up to do the little things. Do the little things. Do the little things. I can see you.